Art in Libraries is a project where the art service and the library service are coming together in Richmond to deliver Arts Award and an installation where we've brought professional artists Tracy and Hobbs to come and deliver a whole sort of season of activity. So Art in Libraries is for us is an opportunity to work in this wonderful setting. We've cleared out the cupboard at the back of the library and we've installed a whole load of equipment and tools and resources and artist books in order that we can make books with people that come to the library. We're setting up Witten Small Press, so we're going to have a whole series of activities and workshops where we're making different kinds of books and zines. Arts Award um, is delivered in a series of workshops every single week with the local primary school and we meet every Wednesday and our artists take 28 children through Arts Award Explore and their activity is going to feed into our final installation but also they should get their own certificate at the end of it. What kind of different books did you find in the library that were about art or different kind of art? The Arts Award offers young people the chance to have an arts qualification and those are people that wouldn't necessarily have access to those opportunities. So it's a really nice way in. Well, today we're making little pictures and you put them in the merry room. You spin them round and you see an animation. Okay, that's done. <laughs> I think it's really important to open up these workshops to everyone and that's been a huge part of Tracy and Hobbs' practice is working with communities in different areas and different sites. Public library is somewhere where people may visit, you know, once a week or once a fortnight. They're not going to you know, go up to town perhaps to participate in sort of huge art events, but to bring art to Witten, to a community library, is, is just fantastic. I think it's important to get all sorts of things into libraries and art is one of them because books are art and this is another facet of art and it just brings a completely different air to the library and it just makes it really exciting. So we've made an edition of lino prints which was, were made by participants be making books ourselves as well as part of the process. Lizzie's making a flip book of ginkgo leaves which we which she noticed the whole of Witten High Street seems to be full of ginkgo leaves. I've been collecting paper from all the different well, most of the shops uh, on Witten High Street and I'm putting them all together into one book which is like, it's a little, little snapshot of Witten High Street as it is now. So all that we produce will be presented back to the library. So there'll be a kind of wit and small press collection that can be viewed by the public in the future. It's been really, really exciting to um, work with Witten Library and everyone involved. They've taken it on um, with completely open arms and we've been able to do whatever we wanted really and make a fair amount of noise for a library space, so it's really nice. For me, this is the library of the future. It's not just about books, it's about all the different things that are available within a community, and we are so lucky in Richmond. Mm -hmm.